that George. Kirk says, what are your thoughts on casein? Does it have too much tryptophan? No, I think casein is a great protein. It has really, uh, it's a, it's unique among the, the complex proteins is that it has a, it has a, a still as of yet unexplained, but you know, I'll give some of the ideas of where it's coming from, profound anti-stress effect. Um, and basically certain studies found that casein acts on the opioid receptors in the brain. There are multiple ones, but and then it, uh, it seems to be a mixed agonist antagonist, but its overall effect seems to be similar to the drug naltrexone. So, which is really interesting. So, you're basically getting an anti-opioid, anti-endorphin effect, and that's really like a powerful anti-stress mechanism. Uh, many people think, oh, why? I want to get my endorphins. No, the endorphins are the endogenous painkiller that your body releases when, when it's in lurk helpless, when it thinks you cannot get out of it, right? So, it, it might as well protect you from the pain. Um, but casein is opposes that whole system, and also it's known if it's if it's a decent quality protein, it's known to actually lower serotonin. So it's not just the the amount of tryptophan that's there; it's the combination of the amino acids and what the resulting how the body will respond to that flood of amino acids. So if if basically um, like uh, it, there's enough branch chain amino acids, phenylalanine and tyrosine, then most of the tryptophan will not reach the brain. So most of the tryptophan will be incorporated and or excreted. Um, and casein actually is also unique among the proteins is that it has been shown to actually increase the urinary excretion of unchanged tryptophan. So something about casein prevents tryptophan from getting properly utilized once, once inside the body. Unlike whey, you know, and, and, and if you, of course, if you add a little bit of gelatin, the dead effect becomes even more pronounced, the beneficial effect. So... I have nothing except good things to, to say about casein. I think it's a very underrated protein. It used to be all the rage in bodybuilding circles, circles in the 80s and early 90s. And then they basically discovered it. Well, I shouldn't say discovered. They decided it's better to, uh, to eat like a more synthetically derived versions. Um, and they, they, they basically, they believed, the, they drank the Kool-Aid and believed the, uh, the industrial complex, which said it weighs the way to go. Because you get like a much quicker hypertrophy from from whey, which uh, it, it, it may be true, but it's in a bad way. You, so basically, you're getting this proliferative effect of the muscle, and you're absorbing a lot more water because casein casein is so insulinogenic. I'm sorry, the whey casein is a lot less so, and and anything you can anything that you eat that doesn't stimulate as much the you know insulin response and then the glucose crash and the cortisol you know uh, response to that. It's probably a good food. Way is, is the exact opposite. Sweet. Uh, John, uh, and we'll 